What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're gonna stick this into this. That didn't sound very good. Today we're gonna check out the Legendary Tones Lynch Mod. Let's do it. All right, guys, hope you're doing great out there. Today, as I said, we're gonna check out the Legendary Tones Lynch Mod. If you guys have been following my channel for a little while, I'm sure you're probably already familiar with Legendary Tones and their product, the Hot Mod V2 and the now new V2 Evo. So what the Lynch Mod is, is actually a collaboration between David at Legendary Tones and George Lynch. George Lynch liked the original Hot Mod V2, but he wanted to tweak it a little bit to his liking as George tends to do because he's a huge tone nut just like myself and probably most of the guys watching this channel. So what the Lynch Mod is, is basically a tweaked version of the Hot Mod V2. George wanted a little bit more bass in both the off and on position and he also wanted the ability to dial the gain with a pot on the mod as opposed to having a switch like the other hot mods have. So you get a little bit more control over the gain and you get a little bit bigger bass response in each position on the Lynch mod than you would on the standard hot mod Evo V2. But other than that, for all intents and purposes, I'm spitting all over the place today for some reason, these two are the same voicing. So the mids, highs, the way that it sounds when you kick it in, it's all gonna be the same as opposed to being a vastly different product. It just has a little bit different bass response and it's got an adjustable gain pot as opposed to a switch that just goes from down to up and adds more gain and compression. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm going to show you my little JCM 800 SC20 amp. Right now, it's just got the three 12AX7 preamp tubes, the stock ones that came with it and no hot mod obviously, cause it's here in my hand. We're gonna check it out with and without a boost and then I'm going to play the same riff after installing the Lynch Mod with and without a boost and then we'll check out the Lynch Mod a little bit more in depth and show you guys what that thing can do. So, without further ado, let's hear the Marshall on its own. Real quick, before we do that, if this is your first time here at my channel, what I do is I take awesome high gain amps, cabs, overdrives, pickups, record them with a simple SM57 and give you guys the unprocessed audio at the end. If that's something that you're into, you like E-standard guitars, thrash riffs, and ugly bald dudes, then you're in the right spot. I would really appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit the like on the way out. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any more awesome stuff like this. Thanks. All right, tones. Stock JCM 800, gain is at six out of 10. So as you can hear, not a whole lot of gain on tap in its stock form. So let's play a riff real quick. I will kick on my Deadwell Duality DX, which is a Tube Screamer style boost. Play the same riff, then we'll install the Lynch Mod and we will do the same thing again. Let's go. Okay, let's kick that boost on. As you can tell, the boost adds some compression and it adds some saturation. But again, that's not a tone that I would ever personally want to play with uh, in my thrash band. There's just not enough saturation in this amp stock form unless you play with some extremely high output pickups or an extremely high output boost or stack boost. But in place of doing all that sort of witchcraft on your amp, you can literally just plug this thing in. And I like to hit everything with a boost anyways, because that's what I do, especially for the tight thrash tones. And you are in high gain heaven right off the bat. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And I'll see you guys back here in a second to test it out. All right, guys, I am back. The Lynch Mod is installed. Let's kick that boost off, turn the amp on, and see how it sounds. Immediately, there's more gain. We've got some more noise coming through too, but there is definitely a lot more gain on tap. You're gonna get that. I currently have the deep switch down, so it's basically off or in the lower gain position. And then I've got the gain knob on the back 
pushed up to the one o'clock position. So we've still got some room to go. We've still got some saturation to add on the gain. So let's hear that riff again. Oh man, that sounds really good like that. Um, let's kick that boost back in. Boost is in, so this is the amp with the Lynch Mod installed and a boost out front. All right, so that's awesome. We immediately have a lot more gain on tap. I'm definitely in like a thrash tone type of territory already. Oh, that sounds so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna dial the gain back on the Lynch mod a little bit so I can dial the gain on the amp up and thicken it up just a tad. All right, so the gain is now at about noon. Let's dial the gain on the preamp of the amp up a little bit. Don't even know how to play my own band songs. Yeah, there's a ton of gain on tap right now, an absolute ton. Uh, I, I would not hesitate to use this amp with that Lynch mod installed and the right boost out front for a show as it sounds right now. It sounds really good. We could actually probably back the mids off a tad and the treble off just to make it sound a little bit fuller. <laughs> Still lots of clarity in there. It sounds fantastic. Let's kick that deep switch on because I am feeling a lack of bass response. It's a little bit too anemic on the low end and we want some balls on this thing. I don't know what I'm grabbing here. I just said balls and then I said that right in a row. It's convenient. All right, so the deep switch is now on. All right, so we definitely have a lot more bass. We've also got some more low mid frequencies going. So what I'm gonna do is actually dial the bass back on the amp a little bit, dial the mids up. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so that makes a nice difference as well. The amp is still tight, it's still punchy, it's got a little bit more of a low mid voicing to it. I personally prefer it with the deep switch off. So let's turn that off and let's engage an overdrive that allows you to keep a little bit more low end intact. I have the Walrus Audio Ages overdrive here and this one actually allows you to adjust the bass as you see fit and the way that I have it set right now, it keeps a lot of bass intact. <laughs> All right, so we can actually probably crank that up a little bit, pull the highs back, and pull the volume back so we don't have quite as much output because that thing is super hot. So that's another option for you. It sounds so good. I absolutely love this device. I love the Hot Mod Evo V2. I love the Lynch Mod. 
Let's turn the gain down a little bit more on the Lynch Mod, if I can find it. All right, it's down just a little bit more. The deep switch is down. I'm gonna kick the duality back in. We're gonna pull the gain up on the front of the amp. And it's still tight. Oh, and it sounds super mean too. Let's pull the bass back up on the amp. Yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> it sounds really good. Let's pull the mids back a little bit. Now the bass frequencies are starting to become a little bit more apparent. I'm gonna turn the amp up a little bit more. We're now in that range where it just doesn't really get any louder. The power section just compresses. And that sounds awesome as well. Uh, it really just, it sounds good no matter what. I'm gonna dime the gain on the Lynch Mod because I can. And I can already tell how much more gain it's gonna have. It's extremely saturated at this point. So let's add a little bit more mids and a little bit more highs to compensate for the extra compression that's coming in. Pull that gain back even more. Because it's still plenty saturated. And let's kick in that deep switch one more time. All right guys, that was a lot of fun and I actually have some really good news to deliver to you. I spoke to David this morning letting him know I was gonna do a video for the Lynch Mod. The Lynch Mod is currently out of production as it is. It was a hand-wired, limited production item, so you can't currently order them new. But David mentioned to me this morning, he's had so many requests for the Lynch Mod that he is going to do a PCB version, much like the Hot Mod V2 Evo, that will allow him to produce more of the Lynch Mod and at a lower price to you, the consumer. So originally these hand wired ones were 300 bucks each and David could only get a few of them out at a time. But now he's going to do runs of these Lynch Mods and he's going to sell them for 225 bucks. They're gonna be on a high quality PCB and he's gonna assemble each and every one of them himself. The new version will be the exact same voicing with the exact same features. It'll just be easier for him to manufacture and get out the door to you guys at a lower price. So everybody wins here. He's gonna have those available by the end of the year, so keep your eyes out on legendarytones.com. Follow his Facebook page, Legendary Tones on Facebook. But yeah, what did you guys think of this thing? How do you think it sounded? For me, it has transformed my JCM 800s and Super Leads forever. The amount of gain that this adds without having to stack pedals in front and create all this extra crazy noise and weird frequency cancellation and everything, it just adds a nice extra all tube gain stage that you are able to adjust on the unit itself how much gain and how much bass you would like in your signal. And it's completely reversible. All you can do is plug it into your V2 socket on your amp. If you don't want it, you unplug it, you sell it, and you never had to pay a tech 
a few hundred dollars to mod your amp and then have to pay them a few hundred dollars to mod it back if you want it back to stock form. This is one of my favorite new products on the market. I have a couple of them thanks to David. I'm super happy that he was able to send me out and we got to hook this up and become friends because I truly believe that his product is a game changer for those of us who own vintage Marshalls or 800 style circuits such as this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button on your way out. Kyle here again. We'll see you guys next time.